Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, wastewater engineering in the topic of uh, activated sludge process. So the problem is the following data were obtained from ASP that is activated sludge process. The population is 35,000. Uh, then sewage per head is 180 liters per day. Uh, then raw BOD that is incoming BOD is uh, 220 parts per million. And uh, BOD removal in primary clarifier is 30 percentage. Uh, then overall BOD retention desired is 85 percentage. Then MLSS equal to 2500 parts per million. So FM ratio is 0 0.5 that is uh, so that is foot per microbial mass uh, equal to uh, 0 0.5 per day uh, then SVA sludge volume index equal to 100. So we have to find out the efficiency of activated sludge process then volume of ASP then HRT that is a uh, hydraulic uh, retention time so then uh, volume loading then retention sludge ratio so resident time that is uh, sludge age uh, if the quantity of waste is uh, 100 meter cube per day and uh, suspended particles in waste is uh, 9000 ppm. So solution first thing we have to find out the efficiency nita. So nita equal to y naught minus y e divided by y naught. So y naught is uh, incoming BOD and uh, y e equal to outgoing BOD. So y naught equal to incoming BOD. So y naught equal to uh, the total BOD is uh, 200 minus. So that percentage of BOD removed in uh, primary clarifier. So we have to detect that. So minus uh, 0 0.3 into 220. So the total value is 154. So y equal to uh, there are 85 percentage of BOD retention. So that is uh, 0 0.15 into 220 uh, is the uh, outgoing BOD. So uh, divided by uh, 220. Uh, so y naught value. So 220 minus 0. Point, uh, 3 into 220 so the efficiency is uh, we got the value of 78.57 percentage so uh, then uh, volume of ASP so F divided by M so, so that is foot bar uh, microbial mass uh, so the foot equal to Q into Y naught and uh, M, M equal to MLSS into V so now we have to find out the volume uh, so volume yeah F by M is equal to given 0 0.5 per day uh, then Q is equal to 180 into so 180 is uh, per capita and uh, 35,000 is the uh, population so into so why not value all we already found out uh, 154 divided by uh, so the MLS is given uh, 2500 so now we got the value of uh, volume 776.16 meter cube so next uh, the hydraulic retention time HRT so T is equal to volume divided by Q so that is a formula so T uh, the volume is equal to 776.16 uh, into uh, 10 into 1000 divided by uh, the Q so Q value 180 into 35,000 because uh, 180 is a uh, total sewage per head into population 35,000 so we got the value of 2.95 hours so that is uh, 0 0.12 Two, three, two days. So next volume loading. So that is organic loading. The formula is Q into Y naught divided by V. So Q Q value we know 180 into 35,000 into Y naught value we got uh, from uh, from here 154 uh, divided by the volume. Also we find out 776.16 into meter cube into thousand liters. So now we got the value of uh, 1250 milligram per liter per day. Uh, we have to convert into kg per meter cube per day. So uh, we can uh, multiply multiply 1000 and divide by 1000 uh, so 1.25 kg per meter cube per day is the volume loading so next we have to find out the return uh, return sludge ratio so equal to uh, xt divided by 10 power 6 divided by sve sludge volume index minus xt so xt is equal to mlss so uh, 2500 milligram per liter uh, then ratio equal to 2000 milligram per liter uh, divided by 10 power 6 divided by uh, sludge volume index is 100 minus 2500 so we got the value of 0 0.33 so next uh, the age retention uh, time so theta c is equal to mlss into v divided by q w into xr plus q minus uh, qw into xe so xe is uh, neglected so we already know uh, so mls is equal to 2500 that is given volume we find out uh, 776.16 uh, meter cube so qw values is 100 into xr value is uh, 9000 milligram per liter so we got the value of uh, theta c is equal to 2.156 so this is the method to solve the activated sludge process problem. Again, we will see next video. Thank you.